checking out this video, don't forget, like and subscribe. The idea that AW was not going to end up as a profitable company was pretty much out the window for months now. Now, now, are they going to be more profitable than we expected? Yes and no. I mean, um, because they're going to reinvest a lot of the money and and everything. It's not going to be like uh, when UFC. I saw I saw something today. It was a, it's actually from John Nash we had on the show a couple weeks ago, where um, you know UFC's negotiations are are coming. They're the next major negotiation coming up is the UFC, and you know they're expecting giant rise, and they're already at uh, domestic like uh, five. 50 ish. I have a number in the observer, this mm -hmm. year, but it's in the five fifties and next year's in the five seventies and they're going to go up, you know, whatever they go up, but it'll be, it'll, it's expected to be, you know, similar to maybe not quite at AEW's growth level. It probably won't be, um, but it's going to be substantial. And the point of that I say, says that John Nash basically said that like about 85% of the growth is going to go right to profits. With with AW, I don't think of this um, you know growth that it will all go to profits. I think he's going to spend more money on you know building up the company in other ways, but it's going to be an incredibly profitable company from this point forward. You know, not not this year. You know, January first, January first. You know, um, on I mean, again, technically only guaranteed three years. But for those three years, those three years are going to be the three most profitable years any wrestling company's ever had, except, you know, for WWE mm -hmm. in, the, in the history of this industry. And it's going to pay back all of the money that they, you know, started in and, and whatever losses they've had in recent years. It's going to pay all that back and, uh, you know, come out with tens of millions of dollars um, in profit and, um, you know, over the course of time, I mean, tens of millions. I don't say hundreds of millions. Hundreds of millions may take a little bit more time, um, but tens of millions. So what we're going to do is I have some questions for Dave about the TV deal. And then we have a bunch of questions from readers about the TV deal. If anyone watching on video wants to jump in and uh, throw up a super chat, I will prioritize that question and make sure that it gets read on today's show. How many questions we'll be able to get through? I'm not exactly sure. We're just going to have to see how it goes. But that there were like at least 20 questions, I think, that I received over the last couple of days. So we'll get through as many as possible. Some of them may actually be repeating, so we could also skip those. But all right. Lead story, obviously, on the deal. My first question. You said or you wrote complete video library on Max. And that has been a question that the hardcore AEW fans have been wanting because they want to go back and watch all those old shows. And I can imagine there are some uh, content creators who want to go back and do podcasts on the first year of AEW. So it does sound like that is going to happen, but probably eventually rather than immediately. Or yeah, not, not, not all not all day one, but but yes, eventually the whole library is going up. Yeah. And since they have, since it is AW's and Warner Brothers content, like we don't, I, I, I'm guessing that they're not going to have to cut stuff out, though I do wonder about entrance music and stuff, if that what those licenses are going to be like. Yeah. I mean, it, it, I don't, I don't know exactly, but I know, I know that there's stuff that needs to be worked on with a lot of the shows and it's going to be worked on. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's not going to be in, I, I would presume it's not going to be in the exact, exact form. You know, again, probably you know, maybe musical issues being a key part of that. I'm not sure. But I know that there's things that need to be worked on, you know, before things are put up. So it won't be all put up at once. You also wrote, while not 100%, the belief is that the simulcast would be in the exact form as the Amer American television product with the commercials. So this has been a question that people have been talking about. and. The I, I've said that I think the commercials are going to be in there because this is not something that the cable companies want them to be able to do. They're not they're not necessarily at least, ha, you know, I'm sure they're they're having to concede more than they've ever had.
But as part of their deal, their carriage deal, I'm sure there is a bone of contention with AEW putting this content on the streaming service. So, but but don't, they, a, don't they, they do it for the NBA already? Yes, but it's not like they necessarily had permission to do it. They were going to do it and then try and figure out the permissions and what they would have to give up and all that stuff later. But if they were to cut out the commercials completely, like then you're pushing people to go to the, yeah. to the Mac service. And that is not, they want to, to create, they want to have a stable relationship with the cable companies as well, which is why I didn't think they were going to do that. Well, it's the same thing with, with, um, you know, ESPN plus for the television UFCs, you know, I mean, the thing with the ESPN plus with the television UFCs that's interesting is from, you know, I rarely watch them on ESPN plus. I usually watch them on television, but on occasion i watch watched them on ESPN plus. And, um, you know, they have the same commercial breaks, but not all the same commercials air because I think that some of them are like locally sold and things like that. And so I think that that um, I don't know how it's all going to work, but it's it's going to be essentially it's it's the simulcast of the product commercials and all most likely. And I and when I say that, it's because that is what the assumption is. The fact is, is that it is not as of yesterday. It was not 100%, but it's it's essentially in the hands of Max and WBD when it comes to the simulcast. So it is their decision. So if if you're talking to somebody from AEW, they literally don't know exactly, but I think it's largely presumed it will be the exact same content. Yeah. I wonder if those blank spots with ESPN Plus are where maybe there are local spots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I think that they are. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, another question I had um, for WWE, we were talking about with raw and stuff about the next day rights. And that was, that was something that they were selling. So essentially AEW's next day rights go to max, right? Yes. Yes. Uh, okay. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So that's part of the reason that they got the number that they got. It includes, you know, it's not just TV. It includes, um, now the pay-per-view has nothing to do with this number, you know, which, which actually surprised me. Cause I think that, you know, when I've talked to other people and, and everything, I presume when the number originally, when the number was so high that it included, um, that they bought the pay-per-views and they did not buy the pay-per-views, the pay-per-views are the same revenue sharing deal that they have always been. Um, but, and, and actually a pretty, pretty good deal, but the, um, really good deal, the, but, but the, um, you know the that that's it, it's 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 the um it's the television rights um there may be other television products being thrown in you know such as a reality show or something um and you know things like that but streaming rights are a big part of it you know i mean and the the purchase of i guess the rights to the library for the next three years for on max is part of it so that all went into one of the reasons that this deal was so much higher than everyone anticipated was because it's not just a television deal. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button and you'll never miss a video again.